How you guys? Welcome back to the One Thing About It podcast. You're here with your host, Amani Talks, and we have a very special guest in the building. I'll let him introduce himself. Go ahead. What's up, BK? Okay. Tell us what you do. I mean, you you were supposed to do that. Why? No, I like my like guests shape. to introduce themselves. Tell us what you do. Well. Tell us about your brand. He got his <laughs> brand on today. Well, it's not about that. I'm BK, um, love of hip hop. Um, I did uh, my actor. I got a, 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 a recovering role on Tubi right now. Okay. On a show called Money and Violence. Okay. Um, I got to check that out. It's really good. Um, Lion Gates picked it up. Uh, I was an artist, wrote a lot of stuff for a lot of people, traveled the world, 28 countries. You said you used to record in the studio, right? Yeah. We're at the Bravo Ocean yeah, Studio. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 that's so crazy because when I walked in, I was, first I was lost. You had me lost. You sent me in the wrong place. I didn't send him nothing then, wrong. I, I, sorry. I got to the right place and I was like, all right. A crazy memory here. <laughs> One crazy memory here. Yes, yes. No, crazy. <laughs> I had to get out of here. Jack of all trades. Yeah, you know, and, uh, clothing lines, travel, well traveled, and um, you know, came to talk to you today. Y'all, BK DM me, okay? He DM'd the <laughs> podcast page. He was like, "Call me. I got something." That he was like, "We got to talk about two things." I called him, y'all. He wanted to talk about a a clip. Every time I post this clip, oh, the men be so mad. The men be so, they be spitting mad. They be banging, crying and throwing up, spitting everything. So let's get into what we're talking about today, okay? Because one thing about it, this will be going to talk about. And I'm I'm pretty much quoting me because this is the clip that you had a problem with. I have a problem with it. I just thought you was wrong. Okay, okay. We're going to see. One thing about it. When men, and this is me just paraphrasing, when men in their 40s and 50s date women half their age, it's because something is wrong with them. So they have to date younger because younger girls are more naive. Mm. Agree or disagree? I totally disagree. Why do you disagree? Because uh, that's the case. Why Jay-Z dated Beyonce? You don't think something's mentally wrong with Jay-Z to date somebody half his age? No. Okay. Why Puff dates Carisha? Oh, please. Let's not get into that. We can talk about that the whole episode. Is this women mature faster than men? It's, it's, it's really something that happens. And most men, women, like, get older, they be out of shape. So let's start with the women mature faster than men. That's a fact. Yeah. But so listen, we're talking maybe 10 years. Yeah, I, I, 10 I feel, years. Okay. 10 years is cool. Yeah. But when I'm talking about 50-year-old men trying to date 20-something-year-olds, I mean, it, I'm like, not, there's something there's something wrong with you. Not 20-year-olds, because I'm scared of 20-year-olds. If a 50-year-old man would date, that would be, like, disgusting to me. But, I see it all the time, though. We see it all the but time. I don't believe they, you know, they can't, oh, they can't handle a girl, a woman their age. That That's not the rhetoric. <laughs> what I'm saying is women your age see that you ain't on your shit, something's wrong with you, and so they be like, uh, I'm good on him. And so you date younger because younger girls don't know any better. No, that's, yeah. a, that's a lie. That's a lie? That's a lie. So uh, you, okay, so when you were in high school, right, and you graduated high school, okay, and, I'm, oh, I'm sure oh, you had friends that, all, like, graduated yeah. high school and they weren't doing shit with their lives and they we would got, come back to high school and date 16-year-old girls. Like, nigga, six, you're in your 20s. You, like, you're all, almost in hold college. Up, hold up, you like, scare me. 16-year-old girls? That's yeah. a pervert. I never, my daughter's 16 year if my daughter dated a man that's 24, I would, I would wild on her. Can I tell you a story? Yeah. My freshman year of high school, my best friend, we were friends since elementary school. I, at this point, we're 13. I haven't even had my first kiss yet. Because that's, you know. And I'm talking to her and she's telling me that she's dating a guy in, her, in his 20s. He was disgusting. I said... You should have called the cops. But listen, do you know how normalized that is? To, to you, that's probably like, oh, that's crazy. I have a 13-year-old daughter. To me, that I was a 13-year-old girl and I know how many 20-year-old guys try to talk to me and my friends when we were in high school and that my friend is the proof of that. Like, she was having sex with a guy okay, who so, was in his 20s and she right. was 13 in high school. So, well, your friend was fast. Oh, so she was fast. Okay. Yeah. To, at, even when she when he said her age, she just said, I'm 13. But First of all, where was her mother? 
and that's at, another. And that's at another thirteen point, years I, old, I asked her. I was like, I was like, there's no way that your. I was like, there's no way. That, what, there's no way that your parents know. I was like, does your mom know? She said, yeah. I'm sure she was lying. I'm sure she was lying. Your friend, but was, just, a, your but friend was a liar, and she was fast. But just the fact that a twenty year old something guy okay, would even be interested in a thirteen year old yes, girl, that's, and that's not far fetched. It happens all the time. He is disgusting, and your friend is disgusting. Both He's of them disgusting. disgusting, and you're disgusting for not telling him. <laughs> You should have told. When I was thirteen, you should have told. Why ain't tell her mother? She dating a twenty-four year old boy. She thirteen. That is disgusting. But is this generation y'all fast? And y'all listen. I ain't have sex. I was eighteen. Mm -hmm. And I told my daughter, "You sixteen. You have sex now. You go straight to hell." BK, no, I don't got time for but, 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 but you know what? Listen. I mean, I said that to her, but you know, I tell her like this. We have open conversation. Why? That don't seem open to me. No, Your daughter gonna be like, damn, I can't tell my dad shit. No, no, no. We really have open. Like I told her, men want what's between your legs. Like I wanted what's between your mother's legs. That's how you got here. So there's gonna be men that's that's cool, slick, that could talk and have you gone. You have to go through it. You are gonna get your heart broke. You're going to think you want to love again. You're going to, you're going to go through all that. I ain't going to be able to save you. I can tell you, but you have to go through it to become a woman. This is not something that is exempt from anybody. People live in Atlanta. They've been skinny a couple of times from heartbroke. You, you probably, you, how long you been here? Six years. You've been broke, heart, heartbroke a couple of times, right? Yeah. Of course. You got skinny. You got skinny. So... <laughs> Welcome to the but world. But that's not the point of what we're saying, though. The point of what I'm trying to get at is that it's so normalized for men to go I so don't... much younger, and that's no, weird. No, it's ten... that's weird. Only ten years. Okay, and that's what I said. Within the ten year range, that's normal because women want to date somebody a few years older than yeah. them. Yeah. But but if, but look, more than twenty years older than no, them. No, more than or... twenty years is disgusting. It is, and that's what I was but, saying. But when you a didn't man say, that you didn't age say... wants to... no, but no, you that's what I said. You I, did... I... I saw it. It did not say this age, twenty years. No, that. Listen, that's what I said. I said in their. Tw I said women in their twenties. That's what I said. Oh yeah, I mean, I think women in their twenties, like twenty two, them will not have washed themselves yet. <laughs> I mean, we argue the same thing for men up until their thirties, but that's besides the we point. We don't know. I mean, y'all got a lot of going thing going on down there. So <laughs> do men. Men don't. They don't be wanting to put their fingers in their booty hole when they be washing up. And Ooh, that's a fact. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Fingers in a booty hole? Why would I put my fingers in my booty hole? Because that's how you get your butthole clean. What you don't you? just graze the surface. No, we you not. have to put a finger in the butthole. After you poop, that's how you get it clean. Who told and when I tell and when I tell men that, they be like, oh, that's crazy. You gotta put a finger in your booty hole to get it clean. And men don't know that. Women know that. Women put their fingers in a booty hole. Just one. I'm not talking two, three, but you get a towel, you put you, you, you go below the surface, just a little bit, and clean it up. I'm Men not, don't even do that. Come on, are you crazy right no, now? No, I'm not. That's that's I'm really how my, that's really how you get your I butt clean. clean. I, I'm ready. That's clean. how you get your butt clean. I'm not putting my finger in my booty hole. And niggas ain't using bidets. I'm not putting my finger in my. I'm gonna wash my butt, but I'm not putting my finger in my booty. <laughs> you hole. do a little bit below the yo, surface. I'm not seeing you, you go yo, all the way see, in. See, just that's, do that, a little on the surface. See that that finger you pointing scares me because it's long. <laughs> and the nails are long, so it scares me. And I can't even look at that. Let's go to, like, that's disgusting. <laughs> no, no, but but going back to what we were saying, too, um, when I, because I, I just be out, you know, like, I'll go out to dinner with my friends, and I'll be seeing these guys that look like they, but like, damn near 60, that... and they be hitting on girls that look younger than me, and I'll be like, what is wrong? I'll be like, there's something wrong no, with y'all you... that, first of all, you're not so, married. So you never, you never dated an older man? Not nobody in his 50s, no. Have you ever dated an older man? I just answer the question, yes or no. I've messed with somebody Have that was early 40s. you dated an older I man? I messed with somebody that was early 40s. Still I not did. giving, you see women don't give a direct, <laughs> yes I know, or no? I, yes, I just said I okay. did. So in, in his early 40s. Okay, so uh, how was that? It was fine. You enjoyed it? He, he was really fun. He was fun to go out with. So we weren't dating. That was never my boyfriend. Whenever he was in town, he wanted to go out. I was like, yeah, me and my friends will come out with you. Why you got to go with you and your friends? Because that's what the vibe was. Why? How you know? That's what he, 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 he'll be like, come out with your friends. He'll oh, because he, like, oh, he, he, oh, okay. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't on it like that. But he was cool though. Was like, like if you, if he I wanted, thought he was very nice. I thought so, he was very cool. I liked him. So, Definitely. See, you liked him. So see, he said, a, he but said. But would a, I seriously date him though? Because I'd be like, no, because what would a 40 something year old want with me? Why? How old are you? Back then, I'm 28 now. Okay. But this was like so, three, four oh, years ago. So if a 40 year old man come at you, you wouldn't date him? 
Now I would. Okay. But when I was four years ago, when I was 24 and he's in his 40s, oh, yeah, I was like, was... what do you want with me? Let's yeah, be yes. let's be very much for real. I mean, he want to... Um... And some and and here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with being single. Like I'm not saying that. Like oh, there's something wrong with you because you're not married. I'm just saying, date somebody your own age. Why aren't you doing Why? that? Why? Why aren't you dating women your own age? Because you know, I don't want to be disrespectful, man. Because <laughs> we listen. They you, you saw the comments. They were already listen, saying it all in the comments. Let me tell you something. Talking about how older women are run through and listen, they let not me tell you in something. shape. And I'll be like, y'all think y'all y'all don't look like women. Fucking... Listen, listen. W some women. Not at all. I get not all. Some women be pretty when they're young. When they get older, they be looking bad. Men, we just like me. I, I'm just gracefully, you know, looking better at every day. Oh, okay, like you think you're the exception? Yeah, you know that. Okay. I'm a handsome guy, man. Ways, pretty, you know what I mean? But the average guy thinks the same as you, though. And the average guy does not get older with age. Oh, no. Just just like, you know, people in general, when you get a little older, you get a little thicker in the waist, you get a little you gotta go you know, to the older gym. in the face. Okay. Go to the gym. Yeah. And stop drinking so much. Y'all look crazy. Men do, too. Y'all be having them pop bellies, especially in Atlanta. Yeah, but too much. I, I, don't, saying it's the lean I don't really drink, so. so I, yeah, you I, don't. Like, I told my friend the other day, my homeboy, I was like, yo, bro, you starting to look crazy old. Mm -hmm. He said, "Why?" Wow. I said, "Bro, stop drinking so much. That like I go to my old neighborhood in Brooklyn. The kid, the guys I grew up with, I be looking at them versus me. I'm like, why do you look like this? This is hard living. New York is just harder living. Period, though. But people, people just, just look I mean, I just think that you know you gotta take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Take care. You know, watch what you and and you know put in your body. Like if you put anything in your body, I can't." I, can't trust what come out your mouth. I mean, that's true. That's so, true. You, know, you always gotta take care of yourself. You know, up upkeep, maintenance. Make sure you look good when you get older. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm... but older men be like, I don't want older women or women my age because they look this way, and I'd be like, but you're bald. You you getting bald and you getting fat. I mean that, but those, and you get those, saggy just like. But those so I just exceptions. be like, yeah, you don't want your match. Those those you, are exceptions. And, and here's and here's what I be here's something. And I maybe think you too. bring life to them. You know. I was about to say that. I ain't letting no old nigga suck the life out of me. No, I'm not doing it. Why? You want to hoe around in your 20s and your 30s. Now you're 50 and you're single because you was hoeing around all around town, community dick. And now you want to get somebody that's younger because they less used. You're used. So you're used up and you want somebody less used up. No, go ahead and get your match. Y'all, people, be, they be out here. They be having several baby mothers, several kids, but want a girl with no kids. No, get your match. I don't get it. I get it. Get your match. Get your match. You, you might be get, a match. Get who's equal to you. You might be a match. You can't determine. I'm not, I'm not no 50-year-old nigga match. You can't Let's determine. Not. Why? Okay, so listen. I'm let's, too let's, good let's, for that. Okay, what if he's rich? What if he's exactly. rich? Exactly. Now, that's, now you want to shake the leg. <laughs> get out of here, man. If he's rich, you his match, right? She's um, your queen to be. <laughs> I got, there's, there's men my age that are rich, though. Okay, but I'm just, they're not, they not ready. For what, so marriage? Let, okay, let me tell you something. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. A 28 year old man, right? I told my cousin, she called me crying. My boyfriend, I'm on the phone like, I waited to finish. I was like, hold is he? She said, 28. He just came into some money. I said, leave that man alone. Let him go live his life. He's not gonna, it's not happening. I'm not gonna argue with that. If I was a guy in my late 20s, early 30s, and I just started getting my money, and I'm good looking, and I'm, the number for marriageable black men decreases every year. Yeah, so if I'm a black man, I'm above six foot, I'm decent looking, I got money, I'm still young, nigga, I'm not getting married either. Because I even, got my pick of the it's, litter. It's not even getting married, relationship-wise. It's, it's not there. I would, I would date around. Yeah. I would date around. So a guy your age, you're equivalent to a man 40-something. 28. That's your match. Yeah, but my whole argument is these you, are the guys that want so much younger than them. And I'm just like, do your, you think that women never gonna half your be age really want to be serious They're with you? never going to be ready. Men, period. They're not going to be ready. So what's the difference then? 40. 40 something. There is it, That's when it starts to slow down. Mm, not for y'all in Atlanta. We were born out of the ground like the animals. You know that? Men. Literally. The Bible says we were born out of the ground like the animals. So what is the animal? A tiger, he's, he, like, that's why a man can say, I love you and have sex with multiple women. 
And that's why I don't call a lot of men men. I call it, I, I say males because a lot of men aren't men. They're just yeah. males. But it, it took me to, when I got, uh, when I, my, my, when I got engaged to the, uh, what's it, my ex, I woke up one day, it wasn't the same. Late 30s. I, w- I wasn't the same where the, I could tame that person who I was. I ain't have to have every woman I see and be like, nah, I need that. And it's one day they're going to wake up and be different. Yeah, of course. Of course. But it just, at, at, at 28, he, he he's just, not there. Because he at 28, know. he's mentally 24. Yeah, he's like, what are you at? He's a cub. He's like, <laughs> I'm going at, I'm, you know what I mean? So he got to get that out of him. So I tell people like, my cousin, I'm like, are you going to keep crying? Or you just, <laughs> what you want to do? She was like, why do you think like that? I said, because I was that. It is the fact of the matter. Men, you, if, and now some, you have some people that's mature. Some guys that just mature and get it. Very but rare. But majority. Yeah, that's very rare. Let this nigga, let him, like, like, I'm a Scorpio, so, you know. Same. You know, let, let them people live their life. Let them go until they ready. Because at the end of the day, if you try to force a person to be ready, try to cage him, he's going to still do what he want to do. But doesn't that speak to the fact, though, that when men are older, because you're saying, you know, let them get older and then they're going to want to settle down. I would not argue that a man that's in his 50s that's trying to date somebody half his age is trying to settle down. I'm not saying 50. You said you said okay, 50, 50. 50 scares me. It's like 50 trying to date a 22-year-old girl. Okay. I think that's a pervert. No, it is. Something's wrong but with you. Know, you. The, but you know, it's guys out there that date, like rich guys that it date happens. The it models, happens. I know. them supermodels that be 19 and they be 50, 55. They about to croak. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. They, <laughs> Hey, it's like, that's my guy. They say after like, they turn 25, he can't date them no more. <laughs> exactly. You got to go because he's trying to get, you got to take that youth out of them and it keeps them youthful. I ain't letting nobody do that to well, me. But if he, if Leonardo DiCaprio wanted you, you're going with him. Stop fronting. Man. Uh, Yo, this girl. <laughs> I love me so Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Leonardo. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I would know that it was just for fun though. I oh, would, I what would. if, what if he say, yo, you're the one, but I just, I, you, you like, no, why I, you want I, me? I, if I'm being for real, for real honest, I wouldn't. I would date him for fun. I would not date him to marry him. Cause I would be like, you're 50 and um, what, what, what why if, aren't you? Why, why, why now? Like, Aaliyah, I'd be like, no, I'm Aaliyah, not with Aaliyah it. Aaliyah said it best, right? What'd she say? I don't know. AJ number number. <laughs> so what do you, like, love is love. You can't, nah. you can't hold it. You can't, you gotta let it go. Let it, let's love. Listen, let's love who you love. Love gotta make sense too, though. Yeah, but you, people you, say you, love is love. It gotta make sense too. You're a little too tough, yo. You gotta, you gotta, no, you gotta. No, no. You're you a just, little too things tough. Things just have to make sense. When I be like, watching you, a little too tough. I'm serious. You, you gotta, you know, feminine. Men, you a feminine looking woman. You beautiful. I told you outside of work. Now I see you. I would okay. I'm proud of you. Like feminine. Like it's okay. Rest in your feminine. Oh, I'm always in my femininity. Well, rest in it. I never feel like I have to when be you talk, When you talk about it on, on here, you be a little aggressive. No, I'm not aggressive. Um, men are just not used to a woman that looks like me What? being factual. They yeah. want women that look like me to be emotional and be like, oh, but you, you guys, this you... is how I feel. And I just want to be, I don't think like that because but... that's not, that's, you think like that, you're going to get ran over your whole life. And it's not about me being no, hard so that no. I'm not ran over. Listen, it's about me being realistic. Men, y'all just not used to that. Up, men, if, if I was fat and ugly, y'all wouldn't care about what I was saying. Up. But because of how I look, no. y'all be like, oh, she's so aggressive. No. I'm actually not aggressive. I'm just I speaking the truth. I love a woman that's like that could talk and say whatever she want. I don't want no soft woman. But <laughs> Every this, guy wants a soft woman. I, I, I want a soft woman when she needs to be soft. Yeah. But you talking does not intimidate me at all. I, I know, that's why lo- you came on. I actually love that about okay. you. I'm just saying, you could be do it in a feminine way. No, like, no thank you. Th- don't be so aggressive, Cause, cause it's what's okay. Feminine? What's feminine? You. How do you speak in a feminine way? I don't understand. No, that. I'm just saying it's not even you that the things like even in the, general. I'm just saying how does guy, one speak? Like I was watching the last guy. I just felt like he was just like agreeing everything you said. Because we agree on a lot. 
No, that's not. It's not. It's not it's, it's, a lot of stuff you were saying was not good. <laughs> but he agreed. So no, he's gonna not, disagree just for the sake of it. <laughs> I mean, most people. I just, I just think about it's like living. Li like you, I've been so many places. I talk to so many people, and having a diverse people around you, you get to understand a lot of things. And I just like, man, like. I see older guys date young girls all the time. You, you understand? We do, but that doesn't say that there's nothing wrong with that, though. Just because it's normalized does not mean that it's okay. But you had a crazy uh, upbringing from 13 that was that just made you scared and disgusted from the 13-year-old dating a 24-year-old. My experience is not, but that's a, my whole point. Like, my experience is not um, an isolated experience or this is a, nor I'm telling you, like, talk to any girl that's been through, talk to any girl that's, that's, mildly attractive that has been through high school, they will tell you yeah, that men, that, men are way, that were way too old for them tried to talk to them. When I was in, I, I, I literally, and I'm not even exaggerating, I used to go to the gym with my mom when I was like in elementary school. I used to have to grown say, ass men looking at me because I always they, had a big butt. So I'm just saying, this is how men operate. Like they don't yeah, they care. Just, like that's I, I've had men that dated my, and a, a whole different friend that he was like, we were still in high school. And he was late 20s, way too old. No, but he was just like, I mean, we could date as long as you don't tell nobody our age. That's perfect. N but this is how men operate. See, I'm telling y'all, like, see, there's something with you. wrong. I'm with you with that one. Yeah, like, I'm with come you on. You're like, right. <laughs> I'm with you when you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just that saying, when I see men so much older try to date women so much younger than them, I'm just like, there's the something wrong women with that dynamic. Fit, they don't be friendly. <laughs> they don't be feminine. <laughs> they don't be co cooperative. So men in their women and they in their don't be submissive. Women in their 40s aren't friendly to you? What? They don't be friendly. They don't be friendly to you. Nah, You're lying. I mean, to me, they do. I'm, I'm not, exclude me out of this. I, okay. I, so I, the I work average every, woman I work in her 40s age. is not a friendly not woman. Fit, not friendly, not cooperative, not submissive. Man, they, like, they a be, lot of times yo, men want to date somebody so much younger because y'all be wanting somebody to train. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, sometimes. And, and men say that. Hey, they, uh, hey. Women are not things to train. Uh, well, you could train train up it's a train up a child the way they should go. Okay, women are not <laughs> but that's that's why y'all be wanting to date children. No, but that's why no, y'all be wanting to date children. Look, so listen, I just like I like women with their own mind. I don't want to train no woman. I want I want a woman to be stand as firm because I walk over women. If you if you're a soft or you're a punk, I'll be like that's people I, in general. I like horrors anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, you know. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, I mean, it gotta be a little horror to, you know. I don't like no nice girls. But we just want people like, you know, I hate when a woman say, you gotta love me for me. No, I don't. I don't. When I got with you, you was curvy. You you get I hate this love weight that everybody talk about. Oh, I feel in love. I got I, this love weight. No, you better get it off because I'm leaving. So if your girlfriend you've been dating for a little while, you love her, she gained 20 pounds during a relationship, you telling her. her she fat? Yes. Mm. You're fat as fuck. Mm. And I don't like you. I'm not touching you no more. Mm. What? I, I don't, I'm not loving you for you. Like, love me for who I am. No. So, so would I you love say you that for the I average, met you. So would you say that the average man's love is conditional? Everybody love is conditional. Mm. If I can't pay your bills or pay for, you don't want me no more. True. So it's, everything's conditional. So stop acting like men have. No, no. Men, I, men stand on more loyalty than like something that, okay, I'll mess with her because of her. Like if you was walking down the street and came from Blimpies or, or whatever, fast food restaurant, I, I could see you beautiful. I could take you and be like, nah, I'm giving her everything. And now you, uh, this it person, now you getting, you know what I mean? You would never do that for me. Because that's not a woman's role. Okay, we understand that. Yeah. So know your roles. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I, I, I say that all the time. No, and I'm not arguing against that because, and I feel like they're going to come for me because they're going to call me a pick me, but I really don't care. I would mildly agree with you on not specifically the weight thing, but just around that area. Because I've asked guys I've dated, oh, if I gained weight, would you still want to date me? And they're like, yeah. And I'm just like, you're a liar. Yeah, he's lying. But here's the thing. Well, I wouldn't let myself go. Yeah, exactly. Because I know that people in general are visual, but especially men. Yeah, majority of this world be letting themselves go. Majority of black women and Spanish women. Oh, my God. They let themselves go. Black men, too. Yeah, black men, they, they just... 
it's I don't know what it is. They self esteem get low and they or they fall in love and think I could just get fat because she's cooking. I'm getting fat and I, I look don't know what you it look is. Crazy, <laughs> you look crazy. If a girl I met was curvy and then she looked like an oval shape, I'm leaving her. Mm. I'm not. T- I'm not attracted to you no more. I can't. My thing again. I'm. I'm just stop. Y'all heard it here, ladies. BK don't want you if you gain that twenty pounds. If you look like you, if you oval shape, no, I'm not dating you. <laughs> okay. I, yo, I mean that that there's everyone has. I'm not gonna say that's right or wrong. I'm just gonna say that everyone has their standards, and and you, no one's right exactly. to say so why, oh that's wrong or you yeah, know why can't, why can't I have standards? If looks matter that's to you crazy. and then money matters to her and then fame matters Man, to her. Man, looks matter to everybody. You no, if, no to men. Not yeah, women. I was gonna say yeah. Looks money matter to, matter to women. Yeah, money matters to women. Looks you matter feel to me? Men. Looks matter to men. Like stop acting like you just like people are like yo. You you go for the look. Yeah, when I first see it, what I'm attracted to. Any guy that says that they don't go for looks is a liar. Yeah, they be li- yo. Thank They're you. They're a liar Appreciate because you wouldn't you. approach a woman if you didn't think that she looks good. Exactly. And that's where it all starts. I don't. She don't not- got to be the the I- finest girl in the room, but if you think she look good, well, she's conventionally attractive. Yeah. You know she got whatever. Listen, you know. hum- like we're not going for the mind. Like stop no, it. No, because you don't even know no. her mind when you first walk up to her. <laughs> like these people gotta stop it. I want these people to stop it now. You're There's not going. There's no such going- thing as inner beauty before you. Get Get to know them, and oh you, wanna, you only want to get to know them when you see them. Her mind drove me to her. <laughs> Man, you look at her. That mind then drove me. No, I had a conversation when I left. I don't give a hell <laughs> what kind of mind you got. If you ugly, <laughs> Wait. See there ya. was this guy when I was was I in college? Yeah, I was in college, and um, we had dated. Like we went on a few dates, and like months were going by right and he never tried anything not that i'm rushing him but he just didn't try anything right we're at his house we're drinking wine the fireplace everything and he never tried anything so i remember i was having a conversation with him i was just like so what are you into like what what it is you know oh, what you is wanted it him you? to try something i mean yeah, after a couple months yeah because what am i here for <laughs> You know, this is college. <laughs> so he was like, I'm a... Um, what am I here for? What, it's hilarious. <laughs> what did he say? He said, I'm a... I forgot what the term was, but he was like, I am someone that I'm attracted to the mind. I'm not attracted... And I was like, nigga, you gay. Yeah. I was, like, okay. I'm a, I, I was like, I'm a head out. Like, yeah. that SpongeBob meme, I'm a head out. Yeah. Because I don't know what you're getting at right now. Yeah, you scared I'm me. over here, I'm looking cute, I'm smelling good, we drink. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm a head out, <laughs> sir. Because obviously, you ain't going for it. Exactly. I was like, come on. It attracted been, to the mind? It would have been... You don't, want no, you don't want nobody that's dumb, but I let's be serious. I want your mind, okay. Shut up. <laughs> so your brain. Actually. <laughs> oh, my God. Attracted gosh. to your mind. Yeah. He, I he, mean, he, pulled, he was. No, but some, some dudes be tricking girls, like trying to get, like trying to fuck with their mind. Like, yeah, and no, I'm attracted to your mind. Like, he, if he was on some, like, like some suave shit that this, oh, now nah, I ain't going to try to fuck. I'm just going to let her think that I can't even tell y'all. For, I'm telling y'all too much. Nah. <laughs> Telling you too much. I don't. Yeah, I don't. See, no, but listen. men. Some certain men. It got different type of game where, then a girl let down her guards. Oh, he don't want me from that. Oh my god, he's such a good. And then he just fuck your whole life up. That's very much true. That wasn't the case with this guy though. He yeah, was gay. He, yeah, yeah, he was, he was a fruit cake. Yeah. Sorry. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't, you ain't, I ain't lose nothing. Your antennas <laughs> wasn't up about that. No, cause I, he didn't. He didn't appear to be so. He, good looking guy and. Yeah. I met him out and I don't know. Yeah. And I have, and usually I have a really good gaydar too. I have a really good gaydar and your gaydar got to be 100%. In Atlanta. And here's the thing. I'm not even saying anything about, you know, I'm just saying like, you know, I've met guys in Atlanta who they present, they seem, you know, gay. Um, By the way that they talk and everything. Mm -hmm. um, But they kind of like swear by them being straight. Or like I have a conversation with a guy and he's so just you, like, you know, you, I'm straight. You, and I'm just like, why'd you feel the need you, to tell me that you're yeah, straight right now? He's, that's he's, that's kind of weird. He's battling himself. <laughs> and I just be like, it's okay to be gay. Especially in Atlanta. There's so many. You know, like this is a you know, I well, feel like the environment here is very much for yeah, gay I mean, people. What, whatever they want to do. That's yeah, cool, yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, so why don't you just be like, oh, I'm I I don't know. Like I What 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 do you look for in a man? I don't look for anything in a man. I don't look for a man. I mean, when you meet a man, you talk to him. I don't him. look for nothing in a man. Okay, he but... He just got to show me. Like, conversation, right? If you talk and have a conversation with him, right? Yeah, at dinner. What is some of the, the key points you like to see in a man? 
I have my 10 things that I, I would like checked off of my checklist. Will I ever get all 10? No, because there's no such thing as a perfect person, yeah, perfect, period. Um, but I have my things that I would like to see, um, you know. Okay. Yeah, we, I asked you. You said you don't even have a... <sighs> okay. No, no, no. I'll, I'll name 10 things. Okay. 10 is kind of hard, too, though. Okay, 10 things. Name That's too much. Name five. Name five. Okay. Um, Ideally, right? Yeah. No kids. Over six foot. Good job. And he not stingy with his money. <laughs> um, Come from a two-parent household. And he's not a dummy. He has a good personality. And he... You don't got to go to, to, so, to, to so this college, but so, he can't be so, a dummy either. So if a person have kids, he's just X'd out. I mean, I'm not... Like I said, this is ideally. Oh, I'm, ideally. Not, I'm not okay, going to okay, X okay. anybody out because of these things. But these are the things that I would I want. want. Yeah, I would want. When do you think you have kids? I'm not having kids. What you mean you're not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you was born here to do. No, I'm not. That's no, worse. no, it's not. No. Well, so you just want to be you gonna be a wife? Uh yeah, I do. Oh, so you so you're gonna tell your husband you're not gonna have a kid. That's the kind of conversation that you have when you're dating somebody. Yeah, you let them know like why, I'm not having why, kids. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would well, I I'm asking you. But why? Why would you ask me a question when I ask you a question? <laughs> Answer the question. Why don't I want to have kids? I don't see any benefit. For bringing, for giving somebody life? You have a kid and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you selfish. That's okay. For right, for right now, though, it's okay. No, for the no, no, my whole for right, life. Nah, no, for, for right my now. whole life. Yeah. I don't believe so. I, I, I think it's okay to not have kids. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a certain people, but what if you meet somebody that you just... I mean, listen, man. It, it's a, this I, is, if it's I had a, the perfect marriage, and I'm talking about perfect, like it has to be perfect, I would compromise with one kid. I know. You're going to compromise, so I'm not even worried no, about it. No, I like, don't... I don't. You I don't, talk... Listen, listen. You talk tough. Like, you... you. But when you fall in love, you fall in love somebody... Of course. When you fall in love, a lot that, of things whole, go out yeah, the door. Of yeah, course. Fact, but that's so. why I said if it was perfect and yeah. I was married, then I would compromise yeah, on so it. You, but no, just yeah, not my idea kids, about yeah, kids, yeah, no. Yeah, not having kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids so we, are annoying. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like parents don't tell single people without kids enough about how parenting is not... Uh, uh, if they could undo it, they wouldn't have their kids. I think a lot of parents would go back in time and not have their kids. Well, I got two kids. Mm -hmm. But I love both of them, Like, they're, Of course you love so, them because they're here. No, I love them. I really, like, love, like, my son and my daughter, like, is my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but my, it was something about my son, right? And me and the baby mother wasn't, like, together. You feel me? And this wasn't supposed to be at all. Didn't want nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? But when my son came, it just changed me. Like, and it should. He he showed like it was like me all over again, and I like I see the way he loved me, like I love my pops. So it was just like it was just an unbearable love. So I understand, you know, some people you just don't that we and I, I had a conversation where I don't think we should do this. This we don't like each other, but you know she did it, and you know I, I'm I'm happy that she did because I got my son. But I get you. Some some people would take back kids and say, I don't want this. Can I say something controversial? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say most, because I feel like I, I would be stretching it. A lot of people should not have kids. A, a, peop, a lot of people um, are not worthy of being parents. That's a, that's a fact. And that's a fact. When I especially, and I'm just going to say it too, and people will be like, oh, you're trying to get into like eugenics and filter, filter out poor people. That's not the point of this. If I'm poor, what the fuck do I have to offer a child? If I'm barely making it by myself, why would I have kids? And poor people have too many kids. That's a fact. That's a fact. I saw a girl on TikTok the other day and she was saying like, the poverty levels are increasing because poor people are having too many kids. Back in the day, you didn't get a wife unless you knew that you could provide for that wife. You had to pay for your wife. Nowadays, people are just having kids and they don't have the means to support well, them and it's increasing the poverty hey, population. There's no, you can't get abortions no more. So and it's not have, even about abortions. It's about- I, it's, it's, it's your fault. Who? Women. Women's fault? Yeah. That. You know why? How? Tell a man to put a condom on. Oh, so we got to tell a man to put a condom on. No, I, I mean, you, most- You just said that. Mo yes. Most, y'all control it. Like, if I come in the bedroom with you and I got a condom, like, most men ain't going to reach for that condom. I prop me, I am, but most men, women just be like, back in the days, go get a condom. You know what I mean? Niggas will walk to the store, drive to the store to get some condom because they want some. 
tell okay, y'all so want to feel it. Let me tell you this. Let me, let me ask you something. How, am I wrong? You, you are wrong. And let me tell you why. To you? For you? No, for no. You. You're wrong, period. Women control access to sex, but men control pregnancies. And this is just a fact. Just wear a condom. You don't have sex unless the woman wants to, but you don't get pregnant unless the man wants to get pregnant. Because let's just be honest. You don't have a pregnancy unless there is ejaculation into a Damn. woman. And men control ejaculation. Listen, so there is no pregnancies a, without the man yeah, put, ejaculating. Tell them put a condom you could pull on. out, you could wear a condom. See? There's a lot pull of things out. that men can See? do. You, and you, they you, choose not to. So you. men control pregnancies. So if a woman is getting pregnant, and 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 this is why I don't understand why y'all be so surprised when pregnancies happen. You were there, weren't you? You you were there, weren't you? You was doing it. You knew what you was doing. So you why have, are you surprised now? You ever been pregnant before? Have I ever been pregnant before? No. Are you telling me pull out? I know good and well enough to use birth control. Oh, I know what birth control is. I learned about it in middle school. I mean, oh, like so, we all did. Oh, so you on birth control? Am I on birth control now? That's none of your business. <laughs> we have I'm, a I'm just saying, birth. I've always known about birth control like everybody else. And everybody has the option to use birth control and y'all don't. And then y'all be surprised. How did this happen? Nigga, you was there. I'm sure you know how it happened. I mean, we both was there, right? Yeah, but the man controls if the woman gets no, pregnant or not. Because no. he can pull out and he can put on a condom. And y'all don't be doing that. Oh, not. not and then you just be hoping and wishing and praying. Y'all y'all contraceptive be a, a prayer after sex. No. <laughs> like that, that doesn't always work. <laughs> y'all be it just hoping praying. and wishing and praying. That's y'all method of birth control. Nah. And then be shocked. Like, how are you shocked, sir? I can see you being like, dang, like, but being shocked, come on. <laughs> come on. Nah, I mean, it's just your preference, man. Your woman, it's just battle of men and women that could go on all, all, every day, man. It could. It just goes on. And most of the time, it's always, um, in my, not in my opinion, I'm going to stop saying in my opinion, this is just facts. <laughs> men control a lot in relationships. So stop? when things yeah, go wrong, it'd be it? the man's fault. You no, know, it'd be the woman. <laughs> it'd be the woman. Yo, listen. I, men are put here to provide, right? And to lead. And women are put here to please. So please me. Oh. Stop doing too much. I just need you to please me. BK. Bring a girl in sometime. Please me. You know what? Please me. What? Do you want to get married? Yeah. Then why are you acting like this? I don't act like this. Ah, great. What are you, you talking about? Like why are you acting like this? You want to get married? <laughs> you, I don't have kids. <laughs> what? I ain't acting like that. Women are here. Well, are. Women are put like here to please. No, I don't think so. I think a lot of people will get bad that you're saying that. Women, hold up. So women weren't put here to please, to be a helpmate and please us, to make us feel good? Not to be please peace? you. Women, yes, women are the support. They're the support and the nurturing, but they're not here to please nobody. Women don't want to nurture no more. Y'all want to nurture. Unless yeah, it comes with some men, money. A lot of men don't provide. Unless it comes with some money. I know. You got to provide to have a nurturer. You can't, you know. So one has to accommodate what, the how other. How about you nurture and make him, make nah, him go out to provide? Nobody nurturing for free. Wow. Let's just be real. That's a shame. It's not. That's how the world works. A lot of women like, have. Like I was saying, a lot back of women then you couldn't even get a wife if you listen, didn't Listen, a lot uh, of women have, have prostitution mindsets. What's prostitution? Exchanging sex for money? Yes. So women haven't always did that? I mean, it's 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 crazy. Women haven't now. always did that. It, yeah, the woman that was sex workers that was on the corner no, did that. No, women have always done that. But now the regular women is doing have that. always done that. The regular women, y'all just be mad when when women are blunt about it. No, it's okay. okay. I'd rather pay for sex because free sex costs more. Because mm -hmm. no problem, give me some. Go home. See you later. Peace. <laughs> I'm not arguing with that either. The, uh, I tell a lot of men that they should pay for sex more often. If, if that's all you want, there are so many sex workers. But men be like, I'm not paying for it. You're going to pay for it either way. Exactly. Well, I don't know. Well, You're going to pay more for free sex. Ain't nothing free. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're going to pay more for free sex. So if you give that little three, five hundred dollars and they leave, that that's going to save you a lot of money in the loan. You I don't ain't got to go to dinner. Don't. You ain't got to hang out. You ain't got to go meet the mother. They pay That's for what I be friends. saying. Y'all don't be wanting you relationships, go but you trips. want sex. But there's a lot of sex workers that are underutilized. But y'all want relationships. What about the woman? Like, I have a woman that I think is, like, crazy. Like, she stalks me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and she's a narcissist. Can we stop using that word in 2023? No, I'm, she 2024, is. 2024, I mean. No, because she... overused the word she narcissist. Tr she tried to make it seem like I'm wrong when she's, you know, like... When she's the wrong person. Okay. But you know, 
Like I said, man. One thing I never trust that comes out of a male mouth ever is when he said that his ex is crazy. I, I never I, trust I, that. I never said that... Was, I never said it was my ex. Okay. See? Well, see, <laughs> a girl, an ex. What? Period. No. I never. I never Why? trust it. I never trust it. What? Why? Cause Joe, I could trust you saying something about an ex. No, because for me, I'm, I, I, never, I never talk bad about my exes. I, but when I, a guy talks bad up, about his ex, but I'm I, like, I'm not talking bad about my ex. My ex, actually, we friends. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't not talk, my, none of my exes. I'm cool with them. Like, pr girls don't be want me to be cool with them because you know what I mean. But I'm cool. I don't want to touch them no more. They like sisters. When a guy says his ex is crazy, I know that he no, it's did some, something to but make it's her some, that way. it's some girls crazy though. Uh, there's some people that are crazy. Yeah, period. but it's some girls that are like. But a guy's favorite line is, "Oh, my ex was crazy." I oh no, nah, I, that. I never. And that's said. overused now. No, some girls. I'm not going. Some for girls it. you never touch is crazy, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But you can see it. I see it. You see it a mile away. Yeah, I go the other way. Mm, okay. You know, I'm real sure quiet. You do. I'm real quiet, man. You are. I'm not real quiet, laid back. You know. I just like to have fun, man. Scorpio on me. Scorpio season just yeah, started. Yeah, we here. We my here. birthday's tomorrow. Your birthday's tomorrow? My birthday tomorrow. I kick my, off Scorpio season. My birthday is November 12th. Mm, okay. I'm a real Scorpio. I think October Scorpio's You're more a Drake. I'm more future. I'm really fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not Drake. You're more Drake. Drake. You're more sensitive. Okay. <laughs> I'm more future. <laughs> okay. No, I, I can see that. That dog in them. <laughs> that's, that's, I can see that in you. I'm going to put here, please. Oh, gosh. They're going to eat you up. Why? They're going to eat you up. I'll make a clip out of that. They're going to love me. No, okay. We're going to see. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean I've been going through this my whole career of loving hip hop. So, you know, they think I'm a cheater anyway. So, at the end of the day, I'm just a guy. Wait, who are you dating on loving hip hop? My ex was Sierra. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, we. <laughs> they said you was a cheater. Yeah. Mm. I was. I mean, but they never seen me with another girl. Was you? I just told you, ma'am. When I got engaged, I woke up one day and I wasn't the same before I got engaged, and that's what made me get engaged. I didn't cheat. Okay, good like, for you. I mean, I've learned so much where I don't have to cheat. I just did a lot of. You know, I've been around the world, so like, did a lot of things, but. I'm not to control myself. It's not that serious no more. I'm not. It's not. Yeah, you know. I want. Yeah. I'd rather get money than get some pussy. Oh, definitely. Cheating doesn't count until you're married anyway, so you're good. Oh, okay. That's a, that's how you think about it. Yeah. So if I, me and you, was boyfriend and girlfriend, I was cheating on you. Who's you, boyfriend and girlfriend? Are we? Listen, 10? if we was in a relationship. Okay. And I cheat, and I had another chick. You wouldn't care. We would just stop seeing each other. No, you just said this is not cheating until you're married. Yeah, it's not cheating so until you're why, married, but you can lie, and I'm gonna break up with you for lying. Why would you break up? Why we break it up? Why are we breaking up race relationship? Because you we're just, not, we're just not gonna see each other anymore. If you want to date somebody else and get somebody, you said get somebody else pregnant or whatever. I never said. What are you? Oh, yo, oh, I, I don't know why I thought you said if I, if, if, <laughs> get somebody else pregnant. You are wild. No, I mean, period. If, if if we're dating right, and then you decide, oh yeah, I mean, I want to date somebody else. That's that's totally up to you. I, but what I can't about stop you. what if I? But if you tell me, oh, I'm only seeing you. But then you lie. See, I, I I don't say that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. A lot of guys do. I don't say that. Um, I just want to be friends. You just want to be friends. I just want to have like. That's the way to go, though. I just want to have beautiful relationships with my friends. Listen, that's and the have way to luxury go. sex in bathrooms. Okay. We gonna end on that note because <laughs> I can't say no one more thing coming out your mouth. BK, thank you for coming I'm, on the pod. Yeah, yeah man. And don't, stop <laughs> talking about the, uh, <laughs> what's the name of the. Well, Why would you have a whole thing and go against the, the people? Uh, Smoke City do nothing wrong to you. What are you talking about? I never talked bad about them. Yes, you did. I said it was ghetto, but that's not that's not yeah, untrue. I, yeah, it's cool. But no, no, you you I, I love what you're doing. I'm proud of you. Keep thank going. You. Thank you. And um, I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching oh. another. Before you go, <laughs> I gotta promote on my network. You know, okay. I forgot about my network, City okay. Girls of Atlanta. My new network, Lax. You know, I got a, a City Girls of Atlanta uh, reality show. We we on season two. City Girls of Atlanta. Yep. Yeah, uh, you could tune into the Lax Network and watch it. Okay. I got my own network. Where's the Lax Network? You gotta like, uh, it's the site. Yeah, it's like Zeus. I like okay. like Zeus. Like we got my, like my own Zeus. So okay. uh, we got City Girls of Atlanta. We got Atlanta Love coming. I got so many shows. I got a show called uh, BK uh, Polygamy Palace with BK. That sounds right up your alley. You you should come and be a judge. 
I would do that. Yeah, you should come on and, and be a judge. You should, I could that, do that. that yeah, that'd be dope. Oh, they gonna hate me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you should come <laughs> on and be a judge. But okay, we are gonna check that out. City Girls of Atlanta. When that be coming on? Uh, on it's come on every Sundays. But we we on the second season. Uh, actually, uh, uh November uh, October 29th is the season uh, uh audition for the season two. Mm, okay. So we're going to Orlando. We filming for five days in this big house. So it's gonna be crazy. Nice. Okay. Y'all yeah. check that out. I appreciate you. You want to be a part of the house, the city girl house? Oh, you want to be a part of Polygamy Palace with BK? I'm looking for two. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> One thing about it, I'll see you later. Bye.